Hi, I'm Clint of Clint Weaver Horsemanship, and I was uh, asked a question about loping circles, and the mayor uh, from Lauren, she, her mayor wants to fall into the circle, and she feels like she's always holding her and picking her up, and, uh, and she wants to dive in and make smaller and smaller circles, and then she wants to trot. Well, I thought about it, and I think I'm going to have to do two videos like the last one because I, I don't want to give just this this overall answer. You know, I really want to break it down and, and try to really work from where the horse is at. So the first thing, we got a horse here, an older horse here, that uh, that when he, he, he's, the reins are connected to his feet, and when you put the least bit of pressure on him, he wants to rear up and lift his head up. So I thought, well, we'll use him and we'll really talk about this side pass and really talk about a horse yielding to the leg, okay? So we'll get started because we're going to be a little while here. So the first thing that I want to do on this side pass is uh, to get them really good about yielding off my leg is I like to break down the pieces, okay? So I'm going to ask him to side pass to the right, okay? But I'm not going to just ask him to side pass the right. I'm going to move each piece at a time. And you're going to see it's going to be really good for this horse because I'm going to bend him to the left and then to the right, then to the left, then to the right. And he's going to get pretty stressed about that in between, you see. So it's a good way to work on lateral flexion along with working the pieces, okay? So I want his hindquarters to go to the right because that's what we want to do, side pass to the right. There's my hindquarters. Now I want to change my bend here and ask for the front end to go to the right. Now nothing's really happening, so I'm going to bump with my outside leg and get that. Now since I had to bump on him there, I'm going to offer it again. There I've got to bump on him again, so I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to stay right here until I can just open up with this rein, and this rein will be connected to that foot. Okay, I'll go forward here. And I might even try to get in time with the foot and offer that foot. And you can see what happens. The rear end kicks out really fast. The tail gets going 90 miles an hour. He gets mad about it, okay? And so instead of just moving his feet. So I'll just stay here, right here on this one little piece here, you see, until I get that. I'm just really in tune with the right front foot there. And now I've got a kick there. There. See if I can walk away. He's kind of drifting towards the camera there. See, I gotta pick him again there. I'm not worried about a turnaround or anything like that. All I want is this right rein connected to the right front foot. And I don't want there. That was much better. Now I'll go hind quarters to the right. Now I'll bend him back again. There. That was much faster. Hind quarters to the right. Front end to the right. There. Then hind quarters to the right. Then front end to the right. I don't need a fence to do this. I can do this right out here in the open. There. Now, he's kind of drifting that time. There, he cleaned it up. He started drifting with his whole body like he was side passing, but I'm not asking for a side pass yet. You see, I still want to clean up that tail and everything. I'd like to see him move one piece at a time like that. See, I might pause right there. Now, I'm gonna put his nose right over the point of his shoulder and put my left leg on and offer that side pass. That was really good. Now, I'm gonna go the other way, you see? So you can see I do it in a way to where I'm working each piece and then I let them side pass. Well, the same thing's gonna be true about that circle. Your mare wants to dive into the circle. Well, I might do something to where I get her busy doing something else, and then I let her go back to the circle. You see, we'll have to get to that on the second video. But on this first one, they got to really understand how to move their body, and I mean soft, okay? So when I side passed this horse that last time, just my calf was on. I'm not kicking, I'm not holding with my reins, and I'm dang sure not spurring, okay? Now this side feels really good. I got the left front there. I got the hind quarters to the left. There's the front end. 
Good. Now bring his nose right over his shoulder. And now his shoulder's leading the way. So here I'm going to take the slack out of both reins, move my leg back, and move that hind quarter over. There he wants to pick his nose up. So I'll just wait on him here. There, till he softens. All right, I'm going to move his hind quarters, take it on a trip. That's the piece I didn't have when I asked him to side pass was the hind quarters. There, there. Now I'll leave his nose right there and offer the side pass. Now what's happening? The shoulders aren't really moving over, you see? So now I'll change the bend, and you can see what happens when I change the bend. You see, when he gets in a pressure spot and I change the bend, see I'm still waiting on the front. There's a try. I'll let him out. Now I want the front end. Same thing that I did before. See here I got a kick in. There he made it. Now I'll offer. Bump with my calf. Bump with my spur. There he made it. Now I'll offer. Bump with my calf. Bump with my spur. And I'm just going to wait until this rein is connected right to that left front foot. You see? So if I was going to trot or lope out on the rail, and my horse came off the rail, instead of just side passing every time, I might just say, hey, will you guide? There, like that. See, that time, that rein was connected right there, right there, right there. You can see my legs. See, I'm not kicking here. My rein is connected to the foot, OK? Now hind quarters to the left. I go right back to what I was doing. Now front end to the left. Now hind quarters. Now I might just leave him there and offer the side pass. Notice too, I don't stay in that side pass very long, you see. I might just get a little bit and then get out. All right, I'm gonna start it up again. I'm gonna go one more time both ways and then I'm gonna see if I can't move this horse around here and see if he can stay on a straight line. There's the front, there's the hind. Now I do have to visit real fast. If I ask for the hind end to go around and the front end drifts off, I just pick the front end up and put it in the opposite way, okay? I'll show you for example. If I was asking for the hind end right now and the whole horse moved over like that, I would just release that leg and put the front end back in to the left and then put my leg back and offer that hind end. See, I really want that hind end moving independently, okay? So there was the hind, there's the front. Now you can see when I'm reaching for him now, he's really moving that front end, you see? So I've got him a lot better at, at connecting that rein to that foot, okay? Now one more time the other way, left, 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 left. Now I'll just leave him there and ask him to side pass. Pretty good. I'm going to take the slack out, see if his hind end does that right there. That was very good. Okay, so now, now I'm going to get on an imaginary circle and see if he can hold it here. See right there, right off the bat, he wanted to fall in. So there, I'm asking. Nothing really happened, okay? So I'm going to change the bend and drive there. There's my front end. Offer. There, I've got to kick him again. Offer. There, there, there. All right, now I'll offer my side pass. There, he, he, he wants to lift up. I'll just wait on him to get soft. I didn't have any leg on right there. I'm just waiting on him to get soft. There, he moved over. Now I'll go back to my trot and ask him to trot around here. Right there, he's leaning in. I'll pick him up and ask. There. But all I did was ask with just my calf. That's, I'm not going to spur him and try to go through something bad there and come out good, you see? So if he doesn't just move off my legs, then I'm gonna go get those pieces. Right there he's in, there he's out. Now I'll come around there again. See, and I don't mind doing that, just picking him up and asking him to move out. So I'm on a loose train right here. Now he's way out this time. So I'm going to pick him up, move his front end in, there. And I want, you under, I want you to understand that when I look at, hey, I want to work on circles today. 
I don't look at just the circle. I look at all the other pieces that I get to work, okay? If I actually work on the circle, great. But otherwise, I'm going to say to myself, well, let's see how good I'm getting about side passing. Or let's see how good I'm getting about guiding. You see? Now, right there is dead on where my imaginary circle was. But I just had my hand down. You see? Now, I'll pick up here and offer. There, he made it. Pick up here and offer. There, he made it. Leave my hand down. Pick up and offer. There, he made it. My reins are starting to connect to his feet. All right? Now I'll go the other way. Now, if I had one right there, you can see him dive in. Now he's going to get tight again. So we'll get him soft. And now forget about everything. I'll just do the hind. There, I had to kick him. So now I get to do it again. There, I had to kick him again. There, there, there. You can see he's pretty tight and he's way far back on his front end with this. So there's something, I, I, we're gonna help him out with that, but that's a whole nother video, so. But we're just gonna think about where his front end, there, there. Now go back, hind in, there, front end, there. Hind in, there. Now see if he wants to side pass. There. All right, now go back to my circle. Now he's overbent here, so I try to straighten him out. And see, he can get pretty crooked, pretty squirrely. That's all right. You'll find straightness. Right there, he's in. So there I asked for my leg. There he moved out. But again, just my calf. Right there, I asked. There, I got it. But notice how when his head got up and he got real tight, I didn't try to kick his head down and go through that and try to move over. See right here? I'm going to get him soft. And where is he? He's way on the outside of my circle, isn't he? So now I get to work on my turnaround. There. See, I had to kick him twice and hang in there until I got down to those feet. This is all about getting down to those feet. Left. Left. See, I'm trying to th get in time and go left, there, there, there. You see, as the foot's leaving the ground, I'm asking with my rein, and I'm asking for that inside foot, just like that. Now I'll trot off again. Now he's to the inside, there. So I want to be able to guide him in and push him out. And I wouldn't even think about doing this from a lope until I could push this horse and guide this horse wherever I wanted to be, okay? But again, I'm not going to stay there and spur them, you see, and hang on them and kick them over there, you see? If I don't get what I want, then I'm just going to go work the body parts and get them to where they really understand what I'm asking. There, he's holding that line pretty good there. Now, if you have a horse, this will be the last thing, and then we'll... We'll, we'll do another video on getting them to stay in that lope and stay up. But I, I did want to visit about if I had a horse that wanted to come in every time, every time in the same place, and I'm picking him up and I'm being nice and polite and everything else, well, what I would do is as I'm coming around, I'll just walk a circle here. As I'm coming around, let's say right over here, they wanted to fall in right there every time. I would pick them up and really take them for a trip. You see, I might just really, really go somewhere, really go somewhere, you see, and then come back and get them thinking right here that we're going on a trip, you see, all right? But the whole time though, like I said before, this is not a punishment deal. I'm coming around here and I'm thinking, ooh man, when I get right here, I get to really work on my side pass because they really want to fall in. Well, pretty soon, when I come around there and I feel them stay straight, well, they've taken all the fun out of it, you see? And that's how I look at it, like, ooh, that's a whole lot of fun. So when this horse got all with his head up, up, you see, that's how I looked at it, like, ooh, now I'm going to get him that much softer. So anytime they fall in, get tight, get heavy, that's an excuse to get them lighter, you see, 
all right, to break down the pieces and get them a little lighter, get them to where they understand it a little better, you see. So I hope that helped you out. We're going to do a second video because their full question was the horse wants to fall into the circle and make the circle smaller and smaller and then break to a trot. So first off, we got to keep them out, keep them on the rail, and then the second part is once they're straight, then we'll start driving and keeping them in the trot. So thank you for your question, and like I said, here in another day or so, we'll make another one, and we'll use this guy here. So thank you for watching.